lunches I made. That's okay, Mom. We got money. Now, just a darn. Well, Maggie, it's just you and me again. Share your embarrassing problem with our listening audience. We invite you to call our therapist of the airwaves, Dr. Marvin Monroe. Our number is 555 Pain. Don't be afraid. Call now. <laughs> Hello. I'd like to talk to Dr. Monroe. First name, age, problem. I'm Marge, 34. And my problem is my husband. He doesn't listen to me. He doesn't appreciate me. I don't know how much more of this I can... Hey, lady, save your whining for when you're on the air, okay? <laughs> okay, let's see. Next we have Marge. She's 34 and trapped in a loveless sham of a marriage. Hey, turn it up. I love hearing those wackos. Tell me about your husband, Marge. Well, when we were dating, he was sweeter and more romantic. And 40 pounds thinner, and he had hair, and he ate with utensils. <laughs> what was that last thing you said? <laughs> ah. Hey, isn't that your wife, Homer? Don't be ridiculous. My wife worships the ground I walk on. Marge, it's what I call harsh reality time. Oh. Your husband sees you as nothing. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. No, no, no. Oh. Don't hang up. The pig has made you into his mother. You are not the hot love object you deserve to be. Really? I'm as sure of it as I'm sure my voice is annoying. Marge, tonight, the second he comes through that front door, you've got to tell him you're fed up. And if he doesn't start loving, you'll be leaving. Leave Homer? Please, don't use his real name. Leave Pedro? <laughs> Can you be that honest, Marge? Yeah. You'll tell him right when he comes home from work. Yeah. Say it like you mean it. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, Bart, not again. Oh, where's your sense of humor? Most tapping. Hello, is Al there? Al? Yeah, Al. Last name, Caholic? Let me check. Phone call for Al. Alcoholic. Is there an alcoholic here? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Listen, you little yellow belly rat jackass. If I ever find out who you are, I'll kill you. <laughs> 